Hi everyone! <laughs> Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's video I'm doing a H&M spring haul and I yeah just ordered all of these spring items from H&M online and just wanted to do a little haul so no other introduction needed just gonna jump right into it. Here is <laughs> the giant bag. All right, so the very first piece is something, is the one that I was the most excited to show you, and that is this dress from the Wildflower Collection. So H&M, a couple weeks ago, released this Wildflower Collection online, and it's basically this beautiful collection of dresses, skirts, tops, that are this like beautiful wildflower print and I think it's part of their conscious collection as well. This is more of like a linen blend dress and it has pockets here. But they only released it in like the UK and like places in Europe. And I was like, me being from the US, I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> I feel so left out. Like, are we gonna get to shop the wildflower collection? They never made it like a big, announcement or like a release or anything in the US, but I did see that they were just selling some of the dresses online. This is the only one that I found and then actually this week I went into the store in Soho and I saw that they had more pieces in the store as well. Not everything, but they definitely had some pieces from the wild wildflower collection. But regardless, this dress I think is the best one and it's certainly my favorite just seeing some of the other ones in person. And I love how it has, the back is kind of like one of the best parts. It's this like bungee kind of material crisscross in the back and it's open and it of course has a high neck in the front. So because of this style, you can't really wear a bra with it because you would obviously see the straps. You could probably do like a sticky, sticky boobs in the front if you wanted to. It is a maxi length. It comes all the way down to my ankles. And I really like this because I could see wearing this on a really hot summer day, just kind of throwing this on because it's very airy and light since it is that like linen-y material. And the fact that it has no bra capability actually makes it really comfortable. So this to me, I would even just wear this lounging around my house. Uh, yeah, I could see myself like sitting on Zoom calls wearing this dress like full on. <laughs> and or just like throwing this on to just run downstairs and grab something or whatever i just see it as that just kind of like go to summer dress and uh yeah here you can see the pattern it's a little wrinkly it definitely needs a steam but yeah it's just like a pretty almost like watercolor floral pattern and it's very i don't know i love like dainty floral patterns and so this obviously fits that it's 360 I think it's really cute. And then second thing, also from the Wildflower Collection, is this headband. Let me take it off just to show you. So it looks like this. It's one of those classic knotted headbands that everyone's, you know, been wearing these last couple of years. And it has like a pretty sunflower pattern on it. So I thought that that was really cute. And I thought that it looked good with this dress. So. I'll probably, even though the patterns aren't exactly the same, this is another one of the wildflower patterns that just kind of, the whole collection kind of goes together. I totally will be wearing that. I think that it's really cute. You can pull out some little pieces in the front and do it like that. Adorable! <laughs> Yay. All right, now the next piece is this classic white top. This is just a plain white tank top, really, and it's cropped. And it looks like that in the back. I love the wide straps and the square neckline. And so this, I thought I got it because I thought this would be the perfect top to pair with mini skirts. Just like any mini skirt, for example. I'm wearing this one. This is like a little floral one. Sadly, it's not from H&M. It's from Love Shack Fancy. But I just wore it, put it on to kind of give you the idea that you can really pair it with anything. I actually, before I, I couldn't wait when I got this bag in the mail. I already wore this last weekend with a skirt and it was perfect. It matches with pretty much any skirt and yeah, it's really cute. 
And then similarly with this white top as well. This one I love because I just loved the back. It reminds me so much of a leotard that you'd wear in like ballet class or something um, because it kind of has these straps that go down and then one across. And then it's a little square neck in the front. I'm actually really not sure if I'm going to keep this, although I love the shape of it. I just don't know if I would ever actually wear it because I would be uncomfortable going out in this not wearing a bra given how there is no structure in the front at all. If it was actually a leotard material where it was like tight, you know, like a bathing suit, then that would be fine, but it's not. It's like a very loose kind of t-shirt material. The other thing is that on me at least, it just doesn't fit right on both sides. It kind of folds right here. All right, and then I got this silk scarf which I just think is so pretty. So I had originally had a different one in my cart and then I saw this one that was like a pretty pink and purple floral and I was like, this is beautiful. <laughs> so I got this one and I love silk scarves because there's so much that you can do with them. Uh, I feel like it's kind of a trend right now on like TikTok and <laughs> other places to do kind of like, where you kind of put it in a triangle like this and then do it over your head like that, <laughs> tie it, and then put sunglasses on and take like a cool photo like in a convertible or something, just like, oh, I'm just protecting my hair from the wind. <laughs> I probably mostly though would be wearing it as a headband, so you can just easily kind of go like that, and then it up on your head like that once twice for the knot kind of like that knotted headband and then just tuck them under if they were long enough you could tie them again in the back but these are not long enough so what I'm going to do is just basically tuck them in in the back basically like that and yeah I think that it's really cute it's really cute the next item is this pink button-up top. It looks like this, and if, say, you you know were wearing something like I was before and you wanted to be a little bit more covered, you could throw this on as a cover-up. You could also wear it just like completely buttoned up the front and with, you know, like a nice pair of jeans to dinner or something. I would also wear this to work. I think that it would be nice um, with a different skirt, obviously, but um, just even with like a little tank top underneath and kind of tied like that, I think it's totally fine. This shirt is basically the exact white, uh, pink version of this white top that I wear from H&M. It's only $17.99, so super cheap, affordable, and having tops like this is so versatile. I think like just having one, obviously like a white one is the biggest one, and I wear this so much. But outside of that, having another color is also good too. So for me, pink would be the next like color. And so yeah, I think that this is really nice. And I'll probably get a lot of use out of this. I feel like even just wearing this or this over a bathing suit to the beach is kind of cute. Like as, as just like a cover up or even if you had one that was a little bit bigger and oversized. Uh, Cause these ones are a little bit more fitted. And by the way, I am typically a medium in tops, and I got both of these in a small and they fit me better. So I would recommend going down one size if you like it to kind of fit, you know, not oversized. <laughs> the next item I am disappointed by for sure. I had such high hopes for this when I saw the picture on the site, but it is just not right in every sort of way. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but it's like huge on me. It also doesn't look like the pretty kind of summery dress that I saw online. It looks like a house dress for like an older, like a senior citizen. <laughs> it's also, it's very big, so it's really not fitted at all. And the waistline just isn't right. It just doesn't sit in the right place. And the fact that this top part is like this is just huge. Also, the material is really cheap, but that's kind of what you get at H&M. But I thought that it would be cute. Like, it had this little tie in the back, and I thought that that would, would be nice. 
So yeah, as you can see, it's like a longer length. Yeah, just not for me. This one's for sure going to go back. But yeah, fair warning if anyone else saw this on the site. This is what it looks like. <laughs> All right, and then the last thing is a robe. <laughs> So yeah, this is like a silk robe, and I've actually wanted one of these for a long time, and because I have the I have other robes obviously, but they're like the like big fluffy ones. But I kind of wanted a nice one, where you know if I like get out of the shower, if I'm putting like lotion on and stuff, that this just makes it easier. It's like a shorter one, and it has these kind of like lace on the end, and the back is just normal. I've seen a lot of robes like these on other sites and they're always so much more expensive and this looks pretty much exactly the same for a lot cheaper so yeah and it's just a robe so I'm like yeah might as well just get this from H&M but I have wanted a silk one for a long time because I feel like when I'm doing my skincare routine it's so important to take your moisturizers and your serums and everything down your neck and onto and onto your chest as well so just like I feel like when I'm doing my skincare, it'd be better to just like put this on instead. That way I can kind of, you know, you know, get all my skincare and my lotion and just take care of myself. So yeah, if you're looking for a cheap, affordable, cute, silky pink robe, this is a good one. <laughs> and that's it. Short and sweet with the haul today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I will leave, of course, links down below to all of the items that I showed. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and check out the Fashion Squirrel. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.